had the pleasure of getting to talk to him and work with him at a time or two is Alec Baldwin. And I, I just, I know that you live across the street from Alec in New York. He is such a personality, a larger than life personality. Yeah. What's it like living across the street from Alec Baldwin? Well, he's, he's definitely the mayor of the central East Village. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it, you, you know, there are people in the trade who, you know, like to put on a baseball cap and sunglasses and kind of move quietly. Alec is, Alec is on the street, shaking hands, cu currying votes for who knows what. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, um, but he is, you know, Alec, joking aside, uh, you, know the, you know the old, the symbol of drama was the, the comedy mask and the tragedy yeah. mask. Yeah. And a Alec is obviously, he's this incredibly gifted comedic actor and satirical actor, and, but people, for, I never forget, he, he is really one of the great dramatic actors mm -hmm. of his generation. When I came up in New York, he was doing Streetcar Named Desire on Broadway and just owning it. And I, I wanted him in that gear, that Glengarry Glen Ross. Yes, I was going to say, Poppy is for closers only. Opening you know? of Glengarry Glen Ross is where I think of him always. And I think there are very few actors that have that kind of ballast that can come no, in and do a scene no, like heft, that. Like, and, and a lethal capacity to intimidate in yeah. a way and he he brings that gear in this film it, it, it's it is one of his career best dramatic performances and he is he is just jaw-droppingly great in it but um uh people and people have been really slammed in the back of their seat by this almost shakespearean right kinda, is he like on the it. set too i would imagine he commands a lot of attention. When he's on the set in a scene, I would think he's just, he's not one of these actors that quietly comes in, does his scene, and then quietly slips no, out and eats he, some yogurt. You know? No, no, Al Alec, Alec holds a lot of space. He holds a lot of space. Um, yeah. he, and he, he, it's very interesting. He's like, he's the, he's the opposite of a method actor. He likes to sustain the energy. And if, you know, if you're, he doesn't like to cut. He'll, he'll, speak. don't you cut camera like he'll you know he'll he'll he, he will sounds he, like he's uh, a lot of fun to direct yeah, he, yeah no 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 uh, you know like 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 and he'll he will sort of like he'll, he'll do these things to pump himself up between the takes he'll go you know boom like you know and and oh you're God. like yeah is he is he saying boom and zip and pow to himself like right but he really does it and it yeah. does you do feel it like the next take you're like whoa you know but uh, he he, Boom and power find zip wouldn't, yeah, no, wouldn't I know. get me. <laughs> zip beforehand you. doesn't get me anywhere. Oh, here we go. Zip. <laughs> but on, but on, the, on the flip, so he's, he's, um, he's, he's tough and needy. Right. Be because he'll, he'll say, uh, another time he was giving a terrific speech and I kept telling the extras who were off camera, you know, be quiet, be quiet. Like, like we need his sound clean right. on this speech. And he, he kind of was doing it and then he stops and goes, can't they applaud now, Edward? You know? <laughs> hey, he wants it, yeah. He, want, he, he want, wants it. Want. He will not be denied. Um, it, he, he is, he is uh, uh, we're joking because he's an animal of the trade. He loves the work. Right. He's got an incredible command of language and he's terrific, but he, he is great to everybody. He is, yeah. he is in your corner. He's kind to everybody. I loved working with him.